In this video, we shall see the working of common drain amplifier along with the theory and LT5 simulation. Now, this is a circuit diagram of a common drain amplifier, also called as source follower. Now, you can see the gate is applied with uh, a DC voltage VGS plus the input voltage VIN, and uh, drain is connected to VDD, uh, source is connected to RSS, the output is taken at the source. Now here I have written the transfer characteristics of the MOSFET uh, ID versus VGS. So for a given VGS voltage which is uh, named here as VGS1, so we have a corresponding ID. So you can see the slope of uh, GM is there for this particular graph. Now you can see uh, there is a current uh, small i capital D which is a combination of uh, small current due to the AC signal plus uh, the capital ID due to the DC bias condition. So now this ID is due to VGS that is a bias voltage and a small ID is due to uh, the input AC signal that is GM into VIN. As VIN increases that is as we apply the small signal uh, the small signal current ID will increase which will increase our V0. So as we can see here since the output follows the input uh, the name of this circuit is also called as source follower. So source actually follows the input signal. This is how the input signal that is applied. You can see now this is the input sine wave with respect to zero. Now the output will be a DC shifted one, and you can see uh, it is exactly in phase with the input signal. So this is V naught, which is exactly in phase with the output. Uh, sorry, this is the output signal which is in phase with the input signal, but it is DC shifted by a value ID into RS. Now we shall see the AC signal, AC small signal equivalent circuit. Uh, let us assume that lambda equal to zero. So this is the circuit. Now we are replacing that with D by ground. Now V G yes capital we have removed it out. Now it is a VIN applied. Now the output voltage is taken at the source terminal. I am replacing this transistor by its small signal model that is GM into VGS. This is grounded. Now from this circuit diagram we can write V0 is equal to I0 into RS that is current to the resistor RS. Now I0 is nothing but the current that is coming over here which is GM into VGS. So that's what is I am replacing I0 by GM into VGS multiplied by RS. Now we know that this is VGS between gate and the source. Uh, VGS is nothing but as you can see here so you, you can uh, get the expression for v in which is nothing but v in is given by vgs plus v naught so that is uh, this v in is nothing but vgs plus the v naught value from which we can get the expression for vgs as v in minus v naught substituting this value of vgs which is v in minus v naught over here in the equation one we end up with the expression for V0 as equal to so V0 will be equal to uh, VGS sorry this is GM into RS into V divided by 1 plus GM RS so from this we can uh, get the expression for V0 by V in which is nothing but GM into RS by 1 plus GM RS so as we can see here since the denominator is always more than the numerator the gain of this CD amplifier will be always less than 1. Now let us consider the same CD amplifier with lambda value non zero. So let us consider uh, R0 into effect also. Now this is the small signal model. So it is now replaced by the MOSFET is replaced by its equivalent uh, circuit here. Now it is GM into VGS. Now you can see we are considering the value of R0 over here which is the representation of lambda non-zero. Now you can see this R0, one end is connected to uh, this source, the other end is grounded and this RS is also between the source and the ground. So actually this RS and R0 are actually parallel to each other. So we can write the expression for V0 as the current I0 multiplied by the parallel combination of RS and R0. So as you can see here. 
So we also know that VGS is given by V in minus V naught. So VGS you are replacing it by V in minus V naught and simplifying the expression, uh, this expression and writing V naught by V in is now equal to GM into RS parallel R naught divided by 1 plus GM into RS parallel R naught. Now as you can see in this particular uh, circuit diagram, this V in and V naught. This is V in and this is V naught. So they are measured with respect to ground. You can see now V in is here with respect to ground. V naught is with respect to ground. So common thing is ground. You can also see this is the drain point which is grounded. Now since the input and output are measured with respect to ground that is drain, the name of this circuit is also known as common drain amplifier. So that's why the name common drain coming here. Now the AV expression for the amplifier with lambda non-zero is given by the expression uh, RS parallel R naught divided by 1 over GM plus RS parallel R naught. So when lambda becomes 0, this R0 becomes infinity, so it will be, AV will be just RS by 1 over GM plus RS if lambda is equal to 0. Now we shall see one more circuit. Estimate the voltage gain of the amplifier with lambda non-zero. Now you can see I am having instead of uh, RS or uh, in, in the previous circuit we have RS. Now that is replaced by the active load over here which is M1. Now it can be represented as R01. So on the same lines as we did in the previous case, I can see the V0 by V in, the AV of this X, this particular circuit diagram with uh, uh, active load can be written as GM2. That is, this is your active transistor. It is GM2 into R01 parallel R02. So in the previous expression you can see we had it as GM multiplied by RS parallel R0. In place of RS, I have R01. In place of R0, I have R02. So that's what is written here. R01 is due to, uh, is, being is being replaced by RS. Now, in place of R0, you have R02. GM is due to this transistor, it is M2. Now it is GM2. Now, these two expressions are exactly same. But only thing is that in place of RS you have R01, in place of R0 you have R02. So in place of GM we have GM2 here. So this is how we can get the expression for the gain of a CD amplifier with an active load. So let us consider a practical circuit and uh, try to find out the gain of the CD amplifier. So let us assume that this is the following specifications. So KP is given as 200 microampere per volt square. Overdrive voltage is 200 millivolt. Threshold voltage is 400 millivolt. So let us assume that RS has uh, 1 kilo ohm. ID is equal to 1 milliampere. And VDS, the drain to source voltage given by VD minus uh, VS. So at VD you have VDD and at VS you have ID into RS. So it comes out as 0.8 volt. Now we know the expression for ID is equal to mu and C ox by 2 W by L V O V square 1 plus lambda VDS. We know everything here in this particular expression except W by L. We can estimate the W by L. So which comes out to be 229.3. So if you assume the value of L to be 1 micrometer, the value of W is 229.3 micrometer. So since we assume the V O V as 0.2, so the VGS comes out to be 0.6 volt because VOV is given by VGS minus VTH which is nothing but 0.4 and VTH is okay VOV is 0.2 volts and VTH is 0.4 volt so from this expression VGS becomes 600 millivolts but at this point the VX the voltage at this point X is given by actually this is gate to source voltage that is VGS plus ID into uh, this is actually RS. So let me replace it by RS here. This is actually RS. Now you can see ID into RS plus VGS is the value of VX. So since VX is uh, uh, for this, this current flowing is 1 milliampere and RD is equal to 1 kilo ohm. So this happens to be 1 volt and VGS is found out to be 0.6. It comes as 
volts. So Vx has to be 1.6. Uh, Vx is also given by the expression in terms of Vdd and R1, R2 by this. Now you can see this Vx is certainly greater than half of the Vdd. So it is 1.6, half of the Vdd is 0.9. Now since it is greater than half of Vdd, so let us choose this R1 as 100k. So it is R1 is chosen as 100k and uh, uh, naturally the R2 happens to be greater than R1. So uh, by substituting Vdd as 1.8 and uh, R1 as 100k, we estimate the value of R2 to be 800 kilo ohms. So using these values of uh, R1 as 100k, 800k, 1 kilo ohm and these uh, uh, MOSFET parameters, we actually simulate the CG amplifier and then, sorry, uh, common drain amplifier and try to find out what is the gain of the amplifier. Okay, with these values, uh, we can actually find out how much is the value of R0, which is given by the expression 1 over ID into lambda, which is 100k. Similarly, the GM comes out to be 9.57 into 10 power minus 3 ohm inverse. So, naturally, the value of AV is given by this expression, which comes out to be 9.0, sorry, 0 0.904 volt per volt. So let us uh, find out, uh, these are the simulated values. So we should simulate it and then try to find out how much is the values. Uh, this is a circuit diagram of uh, common drain amplifier. So we have rigged up the circuit as per our previous design. So R1 is 100K, this is 800K. The voltage at this point happens to be 1.6 uh, volts. And uh, we are supposed to have a voltage of uh, 1 volt here so that uh, 1k into 1 milliampere happens to be uh, 1 volt here and we are applying an AC signal so it, it is we are doing the frequency response and the value of uh, kp is uh, given as 200 so this is as per our assumption now since dot op is uh, simulated so let us find out what are the dc conditions upon looking at the dc conditions you can see uh, at the gate we have 1.6 that is at this point which we calculate as vx it is now you can see 1.6 uh, at output, we have a DC voltage of, uh, you can see, we have output voltage is 0.99, which was supposed to be 1 volt. Now it is almost close to 1 volt. Have a look at ID. So this is ID, which is almost uh, 1 milliampere, which is 992 milliamperes. Now DC conditions are fine. So let us uh, do the uh, AC analysis. For which, okay, let me change the analysis setup from this to. So let me make it. This is, let me make it 100 points here. And next it is uh, starting from 1 hertz to 1 gigahertz. So let me find out. Okay, this is the simulation. Let me see the output. I can see I am not getting this uh, output is not falling here. So what we are getting now is, so only this high pass frequency high pass filter response is there but this is not falling why it is not falling is because we are not given any cgs from zgdo so let us find out what is the uh, gain of the amplifier so now this is fine so let me just click on this i can see the gain is minus 890 millidbs so this is minus 890 millidbs so let us find out what is the actual uh, gain in terms of volt per volt so that's what we saw in the uh, slide this is what we are looking at so av in simulation that is voltage gain in simulation is given by minus 870 milledb which exactly comes out to be a gain of 0 0.904 volt per volt this is actually a simulation result actually we want to, to have a theoretical gain of 0 0.904 it is exactly matching with the uh, theoretical values so theoretical and simulation results are one and the same so this way we can able to uh, simulate a CD amplifier. So now here we have considered a practical circuit where we considered the value of lambda to be 0.01 and ID to be 1 milliampere. So this way we can actually do a CD amplifier. Just have a look at uh, the circuit diagram again. So this is R1, R2 and you can also have a look at uh, the width and the length length is 1 micrometer, the width is 229.3 micrometer.